What's up, Craze Armies? Crazens is back here again with Pika. And this is week three of Pika. Obviously, last week we took home a 6 0 with Spectrier and we started doing team builders. So I'm going to continue the team builders. It's just going to be very brief. Um, what we're bringing, why we're bringing it. So we're bringing Iron Valiant first. This is the first set I made. Choice Specs, Terra Fairy. Um, the, nothing but Tox Specs takes two Moon Blasts, or if he Terra steals the Tusket Can. Um, even Torkoal gets destroyed by Moonblast, um, and Psychic's there for the Tox- Psychic or Trick is there for the Tox specs. Um, and then Orsphere hits whatever else we need to hit. We've got Scarfed, um, Typhlosion, nickname this time. Um, this thing outspeeds his whole team, barring Scarfers and barring Lilligant in the Sun, and we hit super hard with Eruptions and Flamethrowers in the Sun, and then Shadow Ball's also pretty go pretty unresisted in his team outside of heliolisk so and then extra sensory can hit talk specs if that's what he's switching into it we've got jungle gym the mega venusaur this thing can take on the uh the lilligant even if it's acrobatics acrobatics doesn't do a ton to us i forget what the exact calc is but we can take an acrobatics and just destroy it with a sludge bomb um even if he is um some sort of acrobatic set and we also totally eat an ice spinner after we mega because obviously we have thick fat. The earth power hits a lot of things on his team, like Toxpex, like Torkoal, a lot of stuff. Giga Drain is nice for. What is it nice for? Great Tusk. Great Tusk is what it's very nice for because we're pretty weak to a Scarf Great Tusk outside of this guy um, and outside of our Dug Trio, but we'll look at that later. So we have here is Duckles. This is our check to all of his special threats like Walking Wake, like uh, Torkoal, like Heliolisk, all that stuff. We're just max special defense, nothing too fancy. Recover, teleport, toxic, tri-attack. Um, hopefully we can teleport into our one of our two choice mons um, or into this guy, Admiral Akbar, here with the Focus Sash. Now, we were going to be choice banned, but I have a great plan. If he's choice scarf, great tusk, which is pretty good into me. And he choice scarfs into a ground type move. Then I bring this guy in. He's trapped. I tear up flying. Then he's locked into whatever ground type move he's using. I can set up rocks and then shift him down and knock him out with aerial ace. Uh, we'll see if that ends up happening. If he's not scarf tusk, then this doesn't do a whole lot. Outside of like trap things, which it's nice for trapping tox specs and torkoal though. So there's that. And then here is our spectria, the last thing that I cooked up, but it has become our win condition. It is our dedicated lead, hopefully into a Torkoal. So at plus one, we take maximum 24% from a Lava Plume from a non-invested Torkoal. And that's, so that's, that's basically what it is. We're going to try to Calm Mind on the first turn on hopefully a Stealth Rock from the Torkoal. Then we substitute on the lava plume it doesn't break our sub and we can continue to calm mind and keep our subs up um, and try to just win the game off rip uh, a lot of pokemon have been challenging spectre for the kill leader after its incredible performance last week so we really got to get this guy back up there but anyway that's the team and i'll see you in the battle okay so here we are in the match um and dark sylveon fire Interesting. Okay, so this is not the team we thought he'd bring at all. And there is no... Um, there is no Torkoal. But that's okay. We can stick with the same lead. The only problem is a Destiny bonding Binet at this point. Could be a little annoying. But luckily, we have our Duckles to take care of it. Hopefully. So I think we'll stick with our predetermined lead we'll go with spectre hopefully we can get like a tox effects lead it's honestly ideal um i wonder if tox specs breaks sub with a knockoff i imagine it does yeah it does okay that's all right Anyway, um, so ideal scenario here. If he leads Tusk, how are we doing to that? This is no HP. 
We two hit KO with training kiss. How much we take from knockoff? Take. We get two hit KO'd. If we tear a fairy right off the bat, do a lot of damage. He leads Durant. Hmm. What moves does Durant get? Not even sure. Not really sure. I'm not really sure what this thing does at all. How much does a shadow claw do to me? And hustle. He could do a lot of damage with that. I am going to look up. Okay. I... National. It's crunch. Could you crunch? Shadow Claw. It all seems a bit risky to stay in, in general. Or I just tear a fairy straight up. Or I could call mind. Or I could just Shadow Ball raw. I think I just Shadow Ball. He misses an Iron Head. He's scarfed. Okay. Um, how much is an Iron Head going to do? Joy scarfed into it. Adamant probably do sixty two to seventy three. Um, okay. I think he just sacks this. Oh, he misses again. Nice. <laughs> nice start. All right. And Spectre takes a kill. That's a good start. Okay. I'm interested to see what this thing will do. I kind of want to sub once. See, he's gonna headlong rush, he's gonna knock off. Okay, kind of want a Terra and a good draining kiss. I like that. I like Terra on the knockoff, draining kiss back up to full. Right, hits me with the iron head. That's all right. We keep our leftovers and we're sitting pretty. Actually, wait, what was his Terra on this? Let's check. Tusk is steel. If he tears steel. I think we just, we shadow ball to be safe at all times. All right, good. That's perfect. We're grim nade up. Now, the only problem here is this thing. Draining kiss doesn't do a whole lot of damage to a max HP. That's with no, so with no special attack, we're taking a ton of damage. If he's max special attack modest, we're taking half if he's choice specs. Um, one hit KO. Okay. So I think that a hyper voice likely comes out here. I think I could go hard into this guy. I think I could also draining kiss, but if I draining kiss and don't KO, so this is max HP. Hmm. Okay. If he specs and I go to plus one, I still die. Okay. I think my best play is to do this. He seems to be more defensive. And I'd live it. Okay, nice. Alright. So that did 53. So that's not choice specs. Is that what okay, what I got assault best damage actually? Draining kiss did 37. It's not a salt vest. Some other item. Yeah, so he's just max modest. Okay. I can live with this. And do I just earth power on something else coming in? I think I do. I think I think the Doxvex is coming in. And how much do I do to the Pex? With EP if I'm mega. We don't get into a KO. Even if it's not no special defense, we still don't do a KO. Oh, he just stayed in. Interesting. Hmm. Oh, is he? Does he celebrate? Yeah, okay. All right. Well, then. That's all right. I think. I hope so. Sludge Bomb will not KO him. All right, 28. Yeah, nice. We're cooking. And we poison. Nice. All right. Good job, Jungle Jam. 
And we should be able to actually probably beat the rest of the three things with this guy. I'm just gonna synth up. I don't, oh, that would, that'll do it. Okay. Hmm, what do we do here? We could use Choice Scarf on this. To be honest, I don't. I think what we do here, if we just teleport out, goes Bonnet, okay. Okay. I think could what are you doing to a mega banana? Earthquake should to a KO. I can go earthquake into go earthquake into soccer punch. If I see him shadow sneak. Oh I forgot that was a thing. Whoops. Oh well. Hopefully we're still able to beat this guy. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I forgot that was a thing too. I'm just gonna try to rock up. Okay, he's not scarfed. Awesome. And if he's not scarfed, that means we don't KO him with that thing. What are you doing? Eruption can KO. How much is eruption doing to this guy? Not much. Extra sensory also might might KO. Okay, we're going this guy. We're really close to winning with. So here, I think we might just eruption. Okay, he stays in, he dies, nice. Okay, that's good. Sin amor. Sin amor. Anyway, so if we can trick this, we win the game. I think we might be all right anyway. We can trace regenerator and teleport out, even if we get toxic. What kind of damage? I think I win with, do I take a shadow sneak is the question. He is adamant. Sucker Punch, Shadow Sneak. So this guy can always beat Mega Banette. So I want to save this guy. I'm just debating on if I let, if I let Porygon get toxic, do I just lose? Or can I lose? Um, I don't think so is going to be my answer. He does just toxic. That's what I figured. I'm going to teleport out. He's baneful bunkers. Okay. So go this guy. We'll substitute. I would imagine he's going to go for toxic. He scalds. Doesn't break. Nice. I'll call mind. It does break. Okay. Should be all right. Um, could be able to two-hit KO him. All right, let's go for it. 48, drop special defense, nice. Don't burn, thank you, okay. Nice. Okay, Grimnay, Grimnay up. I think he has Shadow Sneak. Do I wanna save the differential point? does yeah okay it doesn't matter we'll go this guy we'll shadow ball we win the game nice okay we could have saved the differential point but i'll live with it and he is probably gonna get another one off the destiny bond unfortunately oh that's tough but that's all right a good game to kyle um the nice the durant misses were nice he did not bring the team we thought he would at all. Um, with no Torkoal, no Sun at all, no Lilligant. But it was interesting.
his cooldown. I I think where did we misplay with uh, Spectre? The misplay on Spectre was probably terrestrializing in front of this thing because that was an obvious play. Um, because that was really where we took damage. And then not paying attention to the tear up on this guy was also a problem because Venusaur just won the game at that point if I didn't let him get hit. Yeah, but. Okay, and with that, we remain the top seed, albeit we are much closer now than we were after week two. So we'll have to get that differential up. But uh, we still have one Steel Wonder right on our tail, also 3-0. and um, And then coming in behind, Washington Genesex in four, Dayton Dragonites, or er, Washington Genesex in three, Dayton Dragonites four, Pot Royal Challengers in five, and Konoha Hidden Nuzleaf sneaking in at the sixth spot via strength of schedule tiebreaker which is interesting to see as they started 0-2 but as you can see anyone can make playoffs in this league even now but thanks for watching and have a great day